Welcome in guys, Adam here, the Orlando Drummer. It is good to see you all, and thank you for tuning in to another drum lesson. In today's single lesson titled Magician, we're learning um, a 16th note fill that can be used for a huge variety of different um, genres and fills and phrases. So it's, it's a really cool pattern, uh, regardless of what you decide to do with it. But for me, it sounds really cool as a funk, fusion, pop, rock, hip hop sort of fill, somewhere in that category. I'm gonna play this thing at just one comfortable speed so we can get a feel for what this thing sounds like. Then we'll break down what's happening. And of course, I wanna show you guys some different orchestrations and things that you can do if you want to explore uh, with this specific phrase. All right, so let's start out with our first six notes. In this pattern, our first six notes uh, make up the rudiment, the para, diddle, diddle. Right, left, right, right, left, left. A really useful, a really common six note rudiment. Uh, on the snare, it would sound like this. Now to really make this feel pop, we wanna accent the first two notes of that rudiment. So a loud right, a loud left, and then right, right, left, left as ghost notes. Let's play that just on the snare. Now one of my favorite orchestrations for this rudiment is to do exactly what we're doing here. We have that loud right hand on the snare, then that accented left hand, that goes up to the rack tom. So we would have right on the snare, left on the rack tom, and then finish back down on the snare's ghost notes. So right, left, right, right, left, left. So that's our first six notes. Now, for the remaining 10 notes of this fill, I don't have a specific way that I would recommend you group these notes. I think you should play this however you think uh, or however your brain wants to interpret or group or chunk out these notes. Uh, but you can look at this as though it's just like a 10 digit phrase, right? You can memorize these next 10 notes however you want. So those next 10 notes would be the kick drum that falls uh, in the center of beat two on the and of beat two. That kick drum leads into this 10 note phrase. And again, however your brain wants to group it is totally cool. For me, I kind of think of it as though it's a kick drum and then four single strokes. So kick, right, left, right, left. Then we have this inverted double section of right, right, left, left. And that goes over top of the beat line there from beat three into beat four. And then we have a kick drum to finish things out. That's how I think of this, um, but not consciously, right? I could look at it in a few different other ways as well. It's kind of why I wanted to leave this open-ended and say the last 10 notes. However you, you want to think of these is totally cool. So for me, kick drum, four single strokes, uh, inverted doubles, right, right, left, left, and then a kick drum. If you're unfamiliar with the inverted double stroke roll, what's happening um, there inside of beats three and four, I would definitely check out the inverted double stroke roll masterclass. A lot of good information on that uh, really useful rudiment. So let me just play for you the last 10 notes as they're written and pay attention to the orchestration that's happening because our right hand is moving around the toms quite a bit. We'll talk about what, those, uh, what the right hand is doing after this, but let me just play for you what's happening in our last 10 notes picking up on that kick drum. If that sounds like total nonsense to you at this point, don't worry, it does to me too. Without being in the context of the entire fill, that's a really weird phrase to just isolate and play. But at least you can hear the orchestration that's happening. So uh, we can talk briefly about the orchestration. Obviously, of, of all the right hands that we have uh, in these last 10 notes here, uh, all of them are gonna be moved somewhere. So we've got that right hand on the snare, that's the first one. The next one that falls on the E of beat three, that is up on your rack tom, that's by itself. And then the diddle that happens from the uh of beat three, to the downbeat of four, that right, right diddle, that's going down on the floor tom. And one thing that I do with that is I tend to make that first right hand that happens on the uh of beat three, I make that one a little bit quieter and I dig in on 
uh, the next one, that second right hand in the diddle. And I do that because it's on the downbeat of four. So it's in a spot where you might normally hear uh, some sort of pulse or accent or peak sticking out of the measure. So I try to really dig into that. And all of the left hands in these last 10 notes, all of them are ghosted. So I think we should put everything together now and just sort of hear what this sounds like. I'm gonna play this as slow as humanly possible this first time around, just so we can hear the phrasing, the orchestration, follow along with the pattern. Then I'll bring this up to a, a mid practice tempo. And then of course we'll do uh, our full speed. And I wanna circle back after we play those three examples, uh, just to show you guys some other orchestration options that we could have using this same pattern. So let's get Magician uh, up to speed here. We're starting out super slow, mid tempo, and then full tempo. Let's do it. All right, guys, so real quick, before I let you go, I wanna show you a couple quick orchestration options that you have with this fill. And these are just easy things that you can do to make this fill sound uh, totally different, right? It's a really versatile pattern. So the first thing that you can do is change the orchestration of the paradiddle diddle. So the right left, the first two accented notes uh, of that first six note pattern, the paradiddle diddle, you can move those anywhere on the drum set. So uh, without playing the whole fill over and over, let me just show you what you can do with the first two notes of the paradiddle diddle. Right, left, right, right, left, left. Move those first two notes around. Yeah. So each one of those orchestrations was the exact same pattern, paradiddle diddle, just moving those first two notes. So you can definitely do that uh, just to start out the fill in some different ways. And of course, the other easy way that we can change this fill's orchestration is by drawing attention to all of the remaining right hands in this measure. So we have the right hand in beat two, we have another single right hand inside of beat three, and then we have that right hand diddle. All of these notes can be moved around to different places. So let me um, play the fill again exactly as it's written, except for those right hands that we just discussed, those will be orchestrated to some different spots around the kit. Check it out.
guys. Tons of options with this specific fill, so I encourage you to make this your own. Experiment with some of those placements of all the notes that we discussed. And of course, you can always do things like um, take the first six note pattern. What happens if you know you change that to a six stroke roll instead of a paradiddle diddle or some other six note pattern that you might be more comfortable with? So definitely take some time to experiment, make this thing your own, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. I will catch you in the next lesson. Later. If you're looking for more content like this, come join me on OrlandoDrummer.com. It's my online drum school. You can try it for free at the link in the description for seven days. Uh, you can go ahead to the website or download the iOS or Android apps. Poke around, have some fun, see if it's for you. We would love to have you on board. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.